The message transfer part, MTP, is part of the signaling system 7, SS7, used for communication in public switched telephone networks. MTP is responsible for reliable, unduplicated, and in sequence transport of SS7 messages between communication partners. MTP2 is equivalent to data link layer of OSI stack. MTP Level 2 is described in ITUT Recommendation Q703. After the completion of the module, you will be able to Describe the various signal units Understand the MTP2 message format Explain the signaling link functionalities of MTP2 layer Explain the error detection and error correction procedures As explained earlier, MTP2 ensures accurate end-to-end -end transmission of a message, across a signaling link. Signaling link is logical connectivity, between two adjacent SS7 nodes. The information unit exchanged over signaling link, is called signal unit. There are three kind of signal unit. Fill-in signal unit, FISU. Link Status Signal Unit, LSSU Message Signal Unit, MSU MSU is sent for MTP2 User Data Exchange, LSSU for Exchanging Signaling Link Status, FISU to keep a live signaling link, in case no other type of signal units are exchanged. MTP2 creates, and consumes, LSSU, and FISU but passes the user information present in MSU to higher layer MTP3. We will discuss about SUs next. The figure shows MTP2 message format for each signal unit. Each signal unit is octet aligned. There are few fields that are common, and then there are fields specific to each signal unit. FISU has the common format, as it does not carry any information. Now, let us discuss about the each field. The flag indicates the beginning of a new signal unit, and implies the end of the previous signal unit, if any. Therefore, this field is used for signal unit delimitation. The binary value of the flag is 0111110. Duplicate flags are removed between signal units. Before transmitting a signal unit, MTP level 2 removes false flags by adding a 0 bit after any sequence of 51 bits. This is called 0 bit stuffing or insertion. Upon receiving a signal unit and stripping the flag, MTP level 2 removes any 0 bit following a sequence of 51 bits to restore the original contents of the message. This is called 0 bit deletion or removal. Length indicator, LI, is used to identify the type of signal unit, as per the values mentioned in the table. 6-bit LI indicates the length of data, or information carried in signal unit. Data is applicable for LSSU and MSU, therefore for FISU, it is make the zero. LI can store values, between 0 and 63. If the number of octets that follow the LI, and precede the CRC is less than 63, the LI contains this number. Otherwise, the LI is set to 63. An LI of 63 indicates that the message length is equal to or greater than 63 octets, up to a maximum of 273 octets. The maximum length of a signal unit is 279 octets that include 273 octets, data. Plus 1 octet, flag. 
plus one octet BSN and BIM plus one octet FSN and FRB plus one octet LI and two bit spare plus two octets CRC Now we will discuss about some of the error handling fields of signal unit. BSN, backward sequence number. The BSN is used to acknowledge the receipt of signal units by the remote signaling point. The BSN contains the sequence number of the signal unit being acknowledged. BIM, backward indicator bit. The BIM indicates a negative acknowledgement by the remote signaling point when contains toggled FIB value and positive acknowledgement when contains same FIB value. FSN, forward sequence number. The FSN contains the sequence number of the signal unit. FISUs and LSSUs are not assigned new FSNs. Instead, they are sent with an FSN value of the last MSU that was sent. Its range is 0 to 127, and after that it restarts to 0. For this reason, the retransmission buffer that stores an acknowledged MSUs can have maximum 128 entries. FRB, forward indicator bit. The FRB is used in error recovery like the bid. CRC, Cyclic Redundancy Check. The CRC value is used to detect data transmission errors. At the receiving side, CRC is calculated using all received data fields, except CRC. The calculated CRC is compared with received CRC, a match means correct as you received, and a non-match means error. Receiving signaling points acknowledge the signal units either positive or negative, to mark the correct or erroneous receipt of signal units. Positive acknowledgement is, when the BIB in the received signal unit has the same value, as the FIB that was sent previously, this indicates a positive acknowledgement. The receiving signaling point acknowledges positive acceptance of one or more MSUs, by copying the FSN value of the last accepted MSU into the signal unit's BSN, which it transmits. All subsequent signal units in that direction retain the same BSN value, until a further incoming MSU requires acknowledgement. The BIB is set to the same value, as the received FIB, to indicate positive acknowledgement. Negative acknowledgement is, when the BIB in the received signal unit is not the same value as the FIB that was sent previously, this indicates a negative acknowledgement. The receiving SP generates a negative acknowledgement for one or more MSUs by toggling the BIB's value. It then copies the FSN value of the last accepted MSU into the signal unit's BSN which it transmits in the opposite direction. Fill in signal units, FISUs, are transmitted continuously on a signaling link in both directions, unless other signal units, MSUs or LSSUs, are present. FISUs carry basic level 2 information only. For example, Acknowledgement of signal unit received by a remote signaling point. Because a CRC checksum is calculated for each FISU, signaling link quality is checked continuously by both signaling points, at either end of the link. FISUs are sent only at predefined timer intervals, for example, once every 150 milliseconds. Link status signal units carry one or two octets of link status information between signaling points at either end of a link. The link status is used to control link alignment 
and to indicate the status of a signaling point, for example, local processor outage, to the remote signaling point. The status field of LSSU has values and meanings assigned for it. The above table indicates the same. Please take a moment to go through it. Message signal units, MSUs, carry all call control, database query and response, network management, and network maintenance data, in the signaling information field, SIF. MSUs have routing label, which allows an originating signaling point, to send information to a destination signaling point across a network. The SIO field contains the 4 bits of service field, to decide type of message, and its priority, followed by the 4-bit service indicator, that specify the MTP user. FISUs, and LSSUs, do not contain an SIO. The purpose of the signaling link alignment procedure is, to establish SU timing, an alignment, so that the SPs on either side of the link know, where SUs begin, and end. The signaling link alignment procedure ensures, that both ends have managed to correctly recognize flags, in the data stream. MTP3 requests link alignment, which is performed by MTP2. Two alignment procedures are used, normal alignment, an emergency alignment. Normal alignment is used when other links are associated with the affected link. The other links must be going to the same destination. An emergency alignment is used when no other links to the adjacent signaling point are within the link set. Emergency alignment uses the same procedure but within a shorter time period. Level 3 is responsible for determining which alignment procedure to use. Idle state indicates that the alignment procedure is suspended and it is the first state entered. State idle is resumed whenever the alignment procedure is aborted owing to excessive errors. LSS used with the SIOS is transmitted. State not aligned is entered, when initiated by level 3. The signaling point initiating the link state, will send an LSSU with an SIO. The proving period is used to test the integrity of the link, and level 2 at the signaling point. During the proving period, LSSUs with the value of SIN, or SIE are sent, and errors are counted using AERM procedure. The aligned state indicates that the link is aligned, and is capable of detecting flags, in signal units, without error. LSSUs with the value of SIN, or SIE are sent, and errors are counted using SUERM procedure. MTP2 error handling is divided into error detection, and error correction procedures. When error is detected from malformed or missignaling unit, then error correction is applied. MTP2 error correction is done through retransmission. The error detection method is performed by a 16-bit CRC on each signal unit.
These 16 bits are called check bits, CK bits. The check bits are calculated using all fields between the flags and ignoring any inserted zeros. The signaling point then appends the calculation to the SU before transmission as a 2 octet field, CRC field. The receiving SP performs the same calculation in an identical manner. Finally, the two results are compared. If an inconsistency exists, the SU is discarded, and the error is noted by adding to the signal unit error rate monitor, SUERM. In this case, the error correction procedure is applied. Two methods of error correction are available. Basic Error Correction BEC. The basic method is used for signaling links, using non-intercontinental terrestrial transmission, and for intercontinental links, that have a one-way propagation delay of less than 30 milliseconds. Preventive Cyclic Retransmission PCR. The PCR method is used for all signaling links, that have a propagation delay greater than or equal to 125 milliseconds, and on all satellite signaling links. Neither method tries to repair corrupt MSU. Rather, they both seek correction by MSU retransmission. For this reason, a signaling point has a retransmission buffer, RTB. The RTB stores copies of all the MSUs it has transmitted until the receiving SP positively acknowledges them. The basic method is a non-compelled, positive and negative acknowledgement, retransmission error correction system. Non-compelled means, that messages are sent only once that is, unless they are corrupted during transfer. Positive and negative acknowledgement means, that each message is acknowledged as being received, along with an indicator, that the message was received error-free or with error. Retransmission error correction system simply means, that no attempt is made to repair the corrupt message. Instead, correction is achieved through retransmission. In normal operation, this method ensures the correct transfer of MSUs, in the correct sequence and without loss or duplication, over a signaling link. Therefore, no resequencing is required at MTP2. Basic error correction is accomplished, using a backwards retransmission mechanism, in which the sender retransmits the corrupt, or missing, MSU, and all subsequent MSUs. His method uses both negative and positive acknowledgements. Positive acknowledgements, acts, indicate the correct reception of an MSU, and negative acknowledgements, NACs, are used as explicit requests for retransmission. Only MSUs are acknowledged, and present, if corrupt, to minimize retransmissions. FISUs, and LSSUs, are neither acknowledged, nor resent, if corrupt. However, the error occurrences are noted, for error rate monitoring purposes. The forward indicator bit, FIB, and backward indicator bit, VIB, are binary flags, that are used in conjunction with the FSN, and BSN, for the basic error correction method only. The Preventive Cyclic Retransmission PCR, method is a positive acknowledgement, cyclic retransmission, forward error correction system. This means that no negative acknowledgements are used and that the system relies on the handling of a positive acknowledgement to indicate the corruption of SUs. Because PCR uses only positive acknowledgements, Indicator bits FIB and BIB are ignored, they are permanently set to 1. 
the receiving SP simply accepts or discards an error-free MSU based on the FSN's value, which must exceed the FSN of the most recently accepted MSU by 1, modulo 128. A transmitted SU is retained in the RTB until a positive acknowledgement for that SU is received. When one of the SPs no longer has new LSSUs or MSUs to send, it starts a PCR in which the MSUs in its RTB are retransmitted in sequence, beginning with the oldest one, the lowest FSN. This method ensures that, if any MSUs are not accepted, the receiving SP receives fresh copies periodically, until it gives a positive acknowledgement. Error rate monitoring is performed, both for an in-service link, and when the initial alignment procedure is performed. This is required to keep a check on faulty links, and take corrective action, such as to take out the link, when error rate is high. It saves processing on applying error correction procedures. Signal Unit Error Rate Monitor, SUERM, and the Alignment Error Rate Monitor, AERM, are the two link error rate monitors that are used. The SUERM performs monitoring when the link is in service, and the AERM performs monitoring when the link is undergoing initial alignment to bring it into service. The SUERM is active when a link is in service, and it ensures the removal of a link that has excessive errors. It employs a leaky bucket counter, which is initially set to zero. The counter is increased by one for each issue that is received an error. The counter is decreased by one for each block of D consecutive issues received without error if it is not at zero. If the link reaches a threshold of T, MTP2 informs MTP3, which removes it from service. For a 64 kbps link, the values of D and T are 256 and 64, respectively. The AERM is active during the initial link alignment procedure. The counter is initialized to zero at the start of the alignment procedure and is increased for every LSSU that is received an error. The alignment procedure is aborted if the counter reaches a threshold value of TI. It is re-entered upon receiving a correct LSSU. Different threshold values TIN and TIE are used for the normal and emergency alignment procedures, respectively. If the alignment procedure is aborted M times, the link is removed from service and enters the idle state. The values of the parameters for 64 kbps link are TIN equals 4, TIE equals 1, M equals 5. Let's summarize. MTP is responsible for reliable, unduplicated, and in sequence transport of SS7 messages between communication partners. MTP2 is equivalent to data link layer of OSI stack. MTP2 ensures accurate end to end transmission of a message across a signaling link. Signaling link is logical connectivity between two adjacent SS7 nodes. The information unit exchanged over signaling link is called signal unit. There are three kind of signal unit. Fill in signal unit, FISU, link status signal unit, LSSU, message signal unit, MSU.
The error detection method is performed by a 16-bit CRC on each signal unit. These 16 bits are called check bits, CK bits. Error correction is done by retransmitting the corrupt or missing signal unit. The two methods for error correction are basic error correction, BEC, and preventive cyclic retransmission, PCR. Error rate monitoring is performed, both for an in service link and when the initial alignment procedure is performed. This is required to keep a check on faulty links and take corrective action, such as to take out the link when error rate is high. Signal Unit Error Rate Monitor SUERM, and the Alignment Error Rate Monitor AERM, are the two link error rate monitors that are used. This completes the module. Click Next Topic from Navigation Menu.